This is Craft 1, an endless card. You'll need a paper, a pencil, scissors, and crayons. First, fold the paper into a triangle shape. Then, cut off the excess paper. Unfold the paper and fold it in half, hamburger style. Unfold the paper and fold the bottom and top into the middle crease. Fold and turn it to portrait mode. Then, fold in half again. Unfold and then do the same thing. Fold the bottom and top parts into the middle crease. Turn it back to portrait mode after you've done that and fold in half again. Next, cut the bottom two squares folded side towards you. Open it up again. Take two pieces of tape, place on the top left corner in the bottom right corner. Fold both creases into the middle crease. Take the two taped parts on the bottom left corner and the right top corner and fold them in. This will be your endless card. To design this endless card, I'm going to be using crayons. Let's move on to craft two, which is a crunchy slime. This is what it will initially look like. You can use different colored glues or beads. You will need activator, glue, mixing bowl, lotion, mixing tool, and foam beads. I used a borax activator for this slime. You can use laundry detergent or contact lens solution to baking soda. Pour in some glue. This amount will be initially the amount that will come out as slime after you activate it. Pour in a quarter size of lotion or more. Mix thoroughly. Take some activator and pour some slowly into the slime. When the slime starts to pull away from the bowl, that means your slime is forming. Leave your slime a little sticky so that the beads can still stay in the slime. This can be a very, very messy process. Make sure you're not doing this near a carpet. You're done. Feel satisfied and relaxed with this DIY slime. Moving on to craft three, which is a sensory bottle. This is what the final product looks like. You can add food coloring if you want. You'll need glitter, an empty bottle, sand, optional, beads, food coloring, and charms if you want. You'll also be needing hair gel, which looks something like this. Take your empty bottle. It can be a vase or just a regular plastic one. Open your lid and place your desired add-ins in. I chose sand, glitter, beads, and charms. Put some water in. It really doesn't matter what temperature it is. Grab your hair gel and place about a tablespoon in. This is the part where you can add the food coloring if you want. Close the lid and you're done. Now we're moving on to craft number four, which is a secret cylinder box. This craft will look something like this when it's done. I chose an Angry Birds theme. This is what it actually looks like. <laughs> You'll be needing scissors, an eraser, a ruler, markers, pencils, one toilet paper roll, foam, and a hot glue gun. First, you're going to take your toilet paper roll, measure one inch and one and a half inch for the second mark. Now, draw that line all the way 
around the toilet paper roll. This is what it should look like now. Grab your red foam and draw two circles around the bottom. Next, draw a strip that is one and a half inches wide and the other one from the second mark to the bottom of the toilet paper roll. Cut everything out. Now take your hot glue gun and basically glue everything on. This is what it should look like now. I designed it as an angry bird. It did not turn out that well. Now you can store anything into the little container. Let's move on to craft number five, which is an easy accessory organizer. This is what it will look like. You can store a clip on the side, earrings inside, and a scrunchie outside. You'll need a hot glue gun, a pencil, scissors, toilet paper roll, sharpies, and foam. First, cut out however long or wide you want your hair accessory organizer to be. Next, draw a circle on the bottom of the toilet paper roll. Now make a copy of this so you have two circles. Cover everything in foam and the part that you cut out initially before if you want a lid. Take your Sharpie and design. I chose polka dots. I did the lid but I didn't really like it because it didn't really fit so I just used it without the lid like this. Or you can use it with the lid, which will look like this. 